Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah Deshaw, blogger and online educator for entrepreneurs over at saradeshaw.com. Today, I'm gonna share a behind the scenes look of creating my next digital product. So what I'm making are Instagram feed layout templates and corresponding videos that instruct and guide people on how to customize the layouts and templates for their brand's aesthetic so they can finally get their feed layout looking on brand and the way that they'd like. Why I'm making these training videos and templates is to help you guys out even further on a topic I shared about that has gained the most interest on my channel. As a business owner, it's so important to lean into the data of what's already proven to be working. And this particular video I made is organically getting thousands of views every week, which is much more than most of the videos on my channel at this point. So that shows me people are actively looking for support on this topic. So I decided to create a digital product that could help the people searching for a solution on their Instagram feed layout to reach their goal even faster. And just a side note, make sure you think about this for your business. What is the data or DMs or conversations with the potential customers already proving that people want from you or your brand? And is there a way you could help them solve their problem faster or with some other kind of ideal solution? Leave this emoji below if you're gonna take some time to consider this for your brand. Okay, and where I'm making this product is in my home, in my guest bedroom at my new FlexiSpot desk that was gifted to me from FlexiSpot that converts from a sitting to standing desk with the tap of a button. I do have a dedicated workspace and a detached structure behind our house that's separate from our house and in our backyard. And out there is already put together really great and everything's seated. And I'm so into the idea of a standing desk, but to be real, I just don't, I just didn't know if I could work standing all day and the idea of manually moving everything from one of our workspaces to the other just didn't feel good or efficient. So this option to just set this up in our guest bedroom and tap a button and stay in the same workspace is just like a perfect solution for me. So let's get into how I'm going about making this product. The first thing I did was rewatch the previous video that I made that I mentioned, that's getting lots of organic traffic. And then I made some corresponding templates to go with each of the styles I mentioned. Next, I brainstormed all the common questions and directions that someone might need to implement each layout while customizing it for their brand. I wrote up a general outline and sent it to my writer to check over and help me fill in the blanks. I can kind of get in my head a little bit while writing content, so I really, really value having some help and a second set of eyes on my work. The next step was to record the audio of me reading the finalized script. I really liked using the standing feature of the desk for this part because it improved my energy, which showed up in how the audio came across. With the FlexiSpot desk, it was really helpful to be able to raise the desk up, which also raised the microphone up to my mouth while standing, rather than typically when I'm sitting down, I can like bend forward a little bit and it squishes my abdomen, which creates not as ideal of a situation for longer bouts of recording when it comes to breath and energy. And for me, uh, I can sometimes get dizzy in that situation, so it helped that not to happen, which was awesome. So once I was done with that portion of the recording, I then lowered the desk to record the live walkthrough of customizations that could be made to the templates. By the way, if you're loving the idea of an easily convertible sitting to standing desk for yourself, I placed a link to the website and model number for this specific desk in the description box below. I'm loving how deep it is and how simple and seamless the design and functionality of it is. My next step in the creation process was to follow along with the audio and video I had recorded and make slides that correspond to the content and then add a lot of visuals in with it too. Next, I combined the audio, slides, and video together on iMovie to create the finalized training video for each layout. And finally, I uploaded the videos and templates into my digital product platform. All of this looks super fast to show you like little snippets of, <laughs> however, I don't wanna give you an unrealistic view of what it takes to create a quality product. Each step of the process took me anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours, then multiply that by the number of layouts and add in the other work and responsibilities that needed to be done. All that to say, thanks again to FlexiSpot for making this process more fun and more energizing for my body since I got to constantly mix up my sitting and standing for the duration and many hours it took <laughs> to complete this product. 
If you'd like to learn more about the desk or the digital product you watched me create in this video, you can find a link to all of that in the area below this video. If you enjoyed seeing the process to create this new digital product, hit the like button below. And if there's any other behind the scenes content that you'd really like to see in the future, be sure to comment below to let me know. Until I post my next video, you can check out one of these two videos over here that I've already created. And if you want to keep up with my channel, tap this button over here to subscribe. I create videos about on-brand content creation, mindset, marketing, and more. I hope you have a really great week and I hope to see you again very soon. All right, bye.